Hey guys, this is Xavier with Notebooks.com. I'm here in San Francisco with Bar Mahoney from AMD. He's in charge of part of the AMD's mobile division. And uh, what are you talking about today? We are talking about an upcoming introduction of our next generation notebook platform. This platform, we have taken a look at how the market has evolved and how people are using notebooks today and tailored the platform in order to really meet the needs for the way in which people are using notebooks today. So what are people doing with no notebooks now that they weren't a couple year of years ago or even five years ago? What we're seeing is that notebooks are being adopted at a pretty aggressive rate. And in fact, in the consumer space, notebooks are expected to surpass desktops in terms of their purchase. And with that, people are using notebooks more so for the same types of applications that they used to use desktops because notebooks afford you to take their personal computer with them uh, wherever they go due to the fact that there's lots of uh, places in which you can connect, you can get to the internet or uh, access uh, your information at work. And then likewise, the notebooks have really unfortunately precipitously dropped in prices and the rate at which they've dropped is even uh, higher than that of the rate of decline that we saw with desktops such that the gap between notebooks and desktops has really narrowed and a majority of the people today have the ability to afford a notebook. And notebooks also provide, as I mentioned, the performance and features to run the majority of applications that exist today. And when we look at the applications that people are running, people are still doing email, uh, web browsing, but the applications that have really bubbled to the top are entertainment-oriented applications. So people are uh, looking at photos, videos. They are downloading their music, taking their music with them. And what we've done is to tailor the notebook platform in order to deliver the best experience that uh, users can realize when doing those types of applications. So what's different about tomorrow's platform versus the platform that I could have bought with an AMD powered machine last month? Sure, so what we've done is taking a look at first the graphics subsystem. The, we are providing a quantum leap in graphics performance over what you can get today in a notebook. And in fact, one way to characterize it is that previously you had to buy a discrete graphics, a notebook with discrete graphics in it, and in order to get the uh, type of graphics performance that we're delivering today. So today we're delivering discrete levels of graphics performance in an integrated uh, solution, so in a much more cost-effective solution. So your average notebook that you buy at Best Buy, uh, Circuit City, etc. today doesn't have discrete graphics for those of you that aren't familiar with it, which means that when you spend seven or eight hundred dollars today on a notebook, which is the average selling price, uh, you're not going to be able to run high-def movies, which is obviously a problem nowadays in the world of high-def. Absolutely. High-definition content is becoming much more important. People are uh, wanting to use the photos that they've uh, captured with their digital cameras or camcorders, high-def camcorders, the music that they're downloading. They're wanting to enjoy all of that on the notebook. And with this next-generation platform, we provide the graphics performance, that uh, is needed in order to enjoy this content. And then likewise, we're providing the video capabilities that really, again, were once the domain of those more expensive notebooks. We're providing the video capability in these mainstream notebooks. So you can take, for example, a Blu-ray movie and have enjoy smooth 1080p HD playback of that Blu-ray movie. Whereas previously on prior generation notebooks, integrated notebooks, the movie would stutter through, you'd drop frames. In order to get that kind of nice playback quality, you would have had to have bought a more expensive notebook with the discrete graphics, as you pointed out. So how are you doing it? Tell us about the geeky stuff here. This obviously is a lot of work by, from your engineers and, and whatnot. What's new here? It is, absolutely. So we've got a next generation graphics engine that we've incorporated into the chipset that it resides in the notebook. And likewise, we brought 
video decoder technology into the notebook as well from the solutions that uh, we've had with prior generation notebooks. And the video technology is really interesting in that what we've done is previously with software-based decode solutions, they would rely upon the CPU or the, the processor in order to do the decode of that content. But that was a very CPU intensive task and most often didn't result in you know, an enjoyable experience with smooth playback. So by offloading this task onto a dedicated piece of technology in the notebook, you actually get much better performance and watching the video smooth 1080p playback and as well it frees up your CPU to do other things so if you have a virus kick off in the background while you're watching a movie you can still enjoy your movie while that virus scans your notebook PC and then likewise if you don't have a compute intensive task going on your notebook uh, because of this dedicated device doesn't consume as much power as does the processor you can extend the battery life of your notebook and in fact enjoy a full-length HD movie on notebooks you know depending upon the configuration of the notebook so what else are you seeing people doing obviously gaming is growing in popularity popularity more and more and we get emails all the time from people saying hey I just bought a computer from Dell HP Toshiba etc and I can't play crisis I can't play Call of Duty 4 I mean, how will this address that issue and will the average notebook buyer that's spending less than a thousand dollars be able to be able to enjoy some of these games that's a great question and you're spot on with respect to one of the things that the retailers uh, have shared with us is that customers come in they buy a game they take it home load it into their PC and they get terrible uh, frame rates you know poor poor experience really not playable uh, from a gaming perspective and so what we've done is by taking you know, discrete levels of graphics performance and offering them in an integrated solution, we're able to address the needs of the mainstream gaming audience. And in the mainstream gaming audience, what we're seeing is that more and more people today want to be able to play uh, games on the notebooks because, as we talked about earlier, notebooks are overtaking desktops. And so people who were playing games on desktops want to be able to do the same thing on a notebook. And with the graphics performance that we're providing, we uh, both from an integrated for casual games and then a discrete standpoint for uh, more mainstream games, people are able to play these games on a notebook PC and get a terrific gaming experience. So it's all not, obviously people do a lot of hard work on notebooks and not just sitting around watching, video ga watching movies and playing video games all day. Uh, what other improvements will people see in, average, in their average day with a notebook while they're at work or while they're at school? Yeah, another great uh, technology that is really becoming, again, once, important in the, uh, once again important in the notebook is the wireless solution. Wireless, uh, for the last couple of years, has been a checkbox item. You know, you either have it or you don't kind of thing. But now, with people wanting to move that high-definition content, around their home or students in the dorm room who are wanting to enjoy that content or maybe wirelessly stream it to uh, you know a TV that they have in their dorm room um, without having to you know send wires through the walls wireless has become much more important and you really need the uh, 802.11n solutions in order to stream that kind of content around uh, the dorm room or around the house and the end solutions today that are available have uh, a frequency of that can run at either 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. And the 5 gigahertz frequency is really ideal for streaming that kind of high definition content. Uh, and it's the partners like uh, that we have, the leaders in the industry, Atheros, Broadcom, uh, Marvell, Raylink that provide the best performance and capability when it comes to wireless. And you'll see that when you're downloading movies or uh, music or uh, taking a look at uh, downloading um, video to the uh, notebook uh, photos, you'll see that these vendors with an AMD-based notebook are able to 
uh, move this content wirelessly uh, in under two-thirds the time uh, of competitive solutions. Um, so tell us about the, what you're calling these products. What should people look for? You guys always put stickers on your notebooks, or I'm sorry, the manufacturers always put a plethora of stickers on the notebooks. What should people be looking for when they're out there shopping uh, you know, this summer and for back to school? Sure. For the best visual experience, people sh should be looking for a notebook that includes the uh, Turion X2 Ultra processor and then as well the ATI Radeon Premium Graphics. Those will indicate the, that you are really getting the best technology that delivers a superior visual experience. So this technology does an excellent job of complementing the technology that the PC manufacturers are incorporating into their notebooks in order to deliver upon a fantastic entertainment experience. 